This is the most helpful tech I use every day. Hey friends, I'm Tasia Custodian. I make a ton of content just like this, but it is time for a complete desk setup tour. So we are at my desk so that we can go over the tech I use for work every day. And we will start with my laptop and monitor. I would not know how to function without my 2021 M1 Max MacBook Pro. She's got 64 gigabytes of memory, one terabyte of solid state storage, a beautiful liquid retina XDR display, and a plethora of ports. She's really the reason my editing and workflow are so much faster. Now, obviously prices vary for any MacBook Pro based on configuration, whether or not you buy a refurbished model, but I have been really happy with mine and it's definitely worth looking into a model like this rather than buying maybe the latest, newest model. So I mentioned the editing work I do, and it's really one of the biggest parts of my job. So for me, I need a second screen that's bigger than the 16 inch beauty on my MacBook Pro. And that's where my LG Ultrafine display comes in. I have the 4K model, but they also make this beauty in 5K. So mine's 24 inches with 3840 by 2160 resolution. And it was literally built for Mac. So you've got a Thunderbolt 3 cable and Thunderbolt 3 ports. Prices have come down on these now since Apple introduced their studio display. So I've linked to a couple different options below depending on the size and configuration you want. And as we go through what's on my desk, keep in mind that most, if not all of these tech products will see discounts on Amazon Prime Day and or Black Friday. So definitely bookmark the links that I have for you below. But with that said, moving on to my keyboard and mouse. My mouse is the Logitech MX Master 2S. This mouse allows you to control up to three different computers. So you could copy something from one computer and paste it to another. The MX Master 2S works on any surface and it comes with micro USB charging cable for fast recharging. It's got a speed adaptive scroll wheel that I like as well as thumb wheel for side to side scrolling. Plus you can connect this mouse via the unifying receiver or via Bluetooth. I also find this mouse has been really nice for me ergonomically. It feels really nice in my hand and it's helped me with some wrist issues. I've linked to the newer version of this mouse, which is actually a little bit cheaper than the original at around 63 bucks. And every mouse needs a great keyboard and my go-to keyboard is also Logitech. This is the Logitech MX Keys wireless illuminated keyboard. And I've got it in graphite to match with my graphite MX Master 2S mouse, but it's got smart illumination, hand proximity detection, and automatic backlighting. And just like its little sister mouse, it comes with a recharging cable and it works across multiple computers at once. This is hands down my favorite keyboard I've ever owned, and this and the mouse have done really well for me over the last few years. So depending on the color and size, this keyboard does range, it's about a hundred bucks, and I've linked to it below, of course. Okay, by now I'm sure you've noticed the gorgeous stand my laptop is perched on. This is from a company called Grovemade and they've actually sent me a few desk accessory items that I've been using for the last four or five months. And not just that, but they've also given me a special discount code and link just for you. This is the Grovemade desk shelf and what can I say? I'm in love. This particular shelf is the small solid walnut shelf that's nine inches deep by 18 and a half inches wide and four and a half inches tall. So my laptop fits perfectly on here with some space on either end and it tucks perfectly under my LG monitor. The desk shelf comes with an aluminum shelf underneath for storage and each desk shelf is made by hand in the USA and you can get different sizes and wood top finishes and the legs are actually a natural cork that looks pretty nice and has been super durable. But I also snagged a desk tray to go with the desk shelf so that I have a bit more closed storage under my laptop. This tray is also made from aluminum and solid cork and allows for a little more organized closed storage. I also grabbed this wooden headphone stand as I wanted a prettier way to store my headphones when they're not in use. So this headphone stand is nine inches tall and honestly, it's just so pretty on my desk. It's made of solid hardwood, natural vegetable tanned leather and stainless steel. And then I also have the Grove Made coaster set. I opted for the matte coaster set in black these particular ones are made from linoleum and have a cork backing, but they have a lot of other options on their site. 
and they've honestly held up really well over the last few months and they don't show a ton of rings like I thought they might. These Grovemade accessories are all made in the USA and they are all so gorgeous and functional. And by the way, they have a ton of other products on their site. So remember, I have a special link and discount code for you in the description below. Thank you, Grovemade. Now, moving on to the external hard drives I use every single day. I use a variety of hard drives, but the ones that sit on my desk full time are these Western Digital 8 terabyte MyBook desktop external hard drives. I've linked to this one and the 12 terabyte one below, so if you need a ton of storage that has its own power, so say you're editing video or something, these are great external drives. Now, when it comes to other storage needs and for travel, the other brand of hard drive I use pretty well every single day is Seagate. And I have a ton of these storage drives that have different capacities that I use for a myriad of things. So like I said, these guys are great for travel and I pretty well do not leave home without them. I've linked to the two, four and five terabyte options below. Now, since I have these hard drives, I needed a really good USB hub and docking station. This is a must if you don't have USB ports on your computer. And I am in love with the docking station I have. This is the Anchor docking station and power expander 13 in one Thunderbolt 3 dock. That's right, there are 13 ports on this bad boy. So this can charge your MacBook Pro or other devices like your smartphone. It's got a 4K HDMI port, an ethernet port, an audio port, USB hubs, multiple USB-C ports, an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot. Like this docking station is a beast. It's completely changed the game for me and probably in all seriousness is one of the most important pieces for my daily workflow optimization. I really would not be able to work without it. And I will say, the Anchor docking station does run a little bit warm, but I have never had an issue with it overheating and I've been using it for a couple of years now. And of course I've linked to this for you as well. Now it is a little bit pricey, but it is an investment piece for sure because it is a total workhorse. And I did also link to a similar model I found that was actually on sale at the time of making this video. Another Anchor product I love and I feel like I waited forever to get my hands on is the MagSafe 3-in-1 Charging Cube. Look at this baby. It completely folds up, so it looks really cute on your desk and you can use it for travel too. But when I need to charge my AirPods Pro and watch at the same time, I can do that easily. And I am looking forward to finally upgrading my iPhone this fall where I'll utilize the MagSafe charger that allows you to keep your phone on display, which is great. So I'm pretty excited to see how this works with standby mode on iOS 17. And I actually snagged this on sale on Amazon and you'll definitely wanna do the same if you're interested in it because it is a pricier charging station. So remember, all of the affiliate links are listed below. So I talked about my headphone stand before and my old school tried and tested, been with me for, ooh, I think about 12 years now, are my Bose AE2 around ear headphones. They do not even make these anymore, but I'm still able to swap out the ear cushions every couple of years when these wear out. I love a wired headphone for editing purposes and like I once tried to upgrade to the Bose QuietComfort 35.2, but the sound level just wasn't good. Like the actual volume was weirdly low and I have no idea why. So I'm sticking with wired headphones. So I'm gonna link to the newer model of these, which is also a wired headphone. And then I also always have my Apple AirPods Pro on my desk and these are what I use for video meetings. The noise canceling option is great and I've also been really happy with the battery life. They last me quite a few days on just one charge and the sound level is perfect for a wireless headphone option. The other items on my desk at all times are my smartphones. Yes, plural, don't judge. So I've got my iPhone 11 Pro, yep, still rocking her, but we'll upgrade this fall. And then I also have my Pixel 7 Pro. As many of you know, this is my go-to camera. Plus I test a lot of apps on here for my videos, so it's pretty important that this stay near me and on my workstation every day. Now there are two additional items that typically sit on my desk, but aren't used every single day. First is the Logitech Stream Cam. This offers 1080p HD video at 60 frames per second. It's got smart autofocus and exposure, thanks to facial tracking. It even comes with a little mini tripod, should you want to set up a couple of these for a live stream, 
or a gaming experience. The stream cam can also rotate and shoot full HD vertical video, and it connects via USB-C. And it ranges around $130 to $170, depending on where you buy it. So I have a link below for the graphite color for you. The other item I use when I need more light on my video calls is this newer desk ring light. This one here is a 10 inch dimmable desktop LED circle light that has a phone mount. So this particular model connects via USB and you can change the modes between white, natural and warm. So I have a link for this below, but it is out of stock at the moment. So I linked to a comparable one as well that is in stock. Okay, before I leave you, there is something else on my desk that you may have noticed that is just a cute techie themed desk accessory. I've got this really cute control alt delete cup set. So you can put liquid in here or snacks in the cups and they sit on this cutie little circuit board. So I have had this honestly really about as long as I've had my Bose headphones. It's gotta be 12 years or more. And I cannot remember the store I got them from, but I did find an exact match for this online. So I've added that link in the description for you. Okay, I think that about covers everything on my desk. If I did miss something that you happen to notice on my desk, just comment below and ask me, what is that? But hopefully this tour inspires you to get the most out of your desk setup. Remember, I have affiliate links listed for you in the description below, as well as that Grove Made link and discount code for 10% off your first order. Enjoy. So that's the tech I use every day. And now I want to hear from you. What's your go-to desk setup? What's the tech you can't live without? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I want to know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more content just like this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.